what's going on guys back in again with another fallout 4 video here on the channel as you can see i did a little bit of a fashion you know alteration to this character and that's because i kind of wanted him to be neutral while we're filming this these videos the fallout 4 obviously because i want you guys to choose the ending uh or the faction if you will of which uh side i'm gonna be choosing to to side with essentially so that's where we're gonna worry about that later but in the meantime while uh, we get to that point where we're, we have a decision to make on which faction we're gonna be siding at that point i'm gonna have you guys choose which side to uh for me to you know side with so there's that uh for now though we're gonna be continuing on with the main storyline and there is that so if you're excited for this video though do me a huge huge favor drop a like on this video also subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed because it really does help this channel grow so with that being said let's go ahead and get going all right well i got a minute woman right next to me it's all good all right where do we have to go i'm i'm pretty sure we're at getting a clue okay so we got to go back to diamond city so let's go ahead and do that diamond city market that'll put us right in the middle of the city Diamond City is kind of weird though because it's got two fast travel points. Potentially three if you have uh, the little... I mean you can't even call it a, uh, a settlement because it's not really a settlement. It's just a player home. But you can buy a player home here in Diamond City. Uh, I, it's called Home Plate. It is probably uh, one of the worst settlements in the game in my opinion. For multiple reasons. One, you can't even connect it to uh obviously the rest of diamond city like the workshops that are in the marketplace it's not connected to home plate on top of that it costs money if you say so let's get a haircut i kind of want to change my hair if you're looking for a haircut the salon's open in the morning oh you hate me bro all right let's go ahead where's the couch there's a couch here somewhere You'll get used to Diamond City security. Oh, I mean a bench, I meant to say. Just ignore him like I do. I ain't telling you how to pick Let's change our place. hair before we go and talk to Nick. Did we save Nick already? I don't think we saved Nick yet. Fuck, dude, I really don't remember, to be honest. All right, let's go. Seven, eight, Bruce nine. Kind of a trouble, Nick. Nice night. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Excuse me. Call your haircut the scab special. A little flex of blood, give it the first touch. You should think about getting a trim. Uh, yeah, 15 caps, no yeah, problem. All right. Just sit down, relax, and let the magic happen. Will do. Sit down in the barber chair. My military. My I wait. I need a hat. Well, my glasses just disappeared. Um. So no, not facial hair style. I kind of want the little man bun. I don't remember what it's called, though. Here, let's go all the way to the top. We'll just go down from there. Holy crap, there's a lot of hairstyles. Uh, this is so slow. OMG. That's the children of Adam. <laughs> Haircut. I don't want to be bald, either. Um... I have I have long hair, so the colonial haircut, the one that I used, that I had before this, I occasionally put it like that. Sometimes I put it into a man bun, and then sometimes I just let it down. Uh, but when I let it down, it's very very rare to be honest, because my hair is also extremely curly. And uh, I mean, long story short, it's really annoying to just you know tame my hair. But it's easier with it long. It's part. It's a big reason why I have long hair is because my hair is so curly. It's hard to tame, and it's just a little bit easier to tame with it long. And I definitely don't want to be bald, you know. My God, this loading in between haircuts is is annoying. All right, let's see here. Come on dapper i don't want to be dapper i want to be badass all right leave me alone um 
I should have had his hair the way I want it before we left the vault, like at the very beginning of the game. I wish I knew what the air, uh, haircut was called. Oh, that's Colonial. Top Knot. Yeah, this one. Done. We got hairstyles. For oh, wait a minute. No, that's not it. Damn it. We're gonna have to pay for another haircut. <laughs> sure. Let's get to it. I want it into a man bun, not a freaking just a knot with a little pigtail, if you will. Uh, so style. Ronin. Actually, I think this might be it. I can't tell though, so I might have to. I might have to get another haircut. No, yeah, this is it. This works. Let's go. Yep. No big deal, right? All right. Let's go talk to Mr. Nicholas. Oh, God, I'm stuck. Nicholas. Oh, Nicholas. Who's my companion, anyways? I think I have uh, Piper, if I'm not mistaken. Are you here? Hey, hi. She's such a cutie, man. Oh, if, God. if she was a companion, I would marry her. Well, it's hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> you keep laughing at death. Someday, death's gonna laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends to back me up. You me. Said Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you. Um, you're welcome. Happy to do it. Yeah? Go diving into scary pre-war ruins all the time then, do you? All the yeah. time. I know an amount wasn't on the table when you went out to find him, but you deserve a reward. Plus a little something extra. You know, if you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a new partner. Whoa. One case at a time. <laughs> our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat. Sure. Fun. Sit down is a quest objective. <laughs> when you're trying to find someone who's gone missing, the devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful it might be. Okay, um... Uh, we're looking for my, looking my son. for my son. My Sean. Sean. <laughs> He's less than a year old. Why would anyone take him? Good question. Why your family in particular? Why an infant? would be taking on all of his care and a baby needs a lot of it. Yep. What else can you tell me? Um, we were in Vault 111. We were in a vault when it happened. Vault 111. It, it was some kind of cryo facility. You were on ice, huh? More importantly, you were underground. Sealed up. A lot of obstacles to get through just to take one person. It's true. Anything else you remember? Um... The kidnappers. There was a man and a woman. They didn't say much. But I remember they called me the backup. So we're talking a small team. Professionals. The kind that know to keep their lips tight when they're on the job. Not sure what the backup means, though. Well, that confirms it. This isn't a random kidnapping. Whoever took your kid had an agenda. Hmm. A lot of groups in the Commonwealth that take people. Raiders, super mutants, the gunners. And of course, there's the Institute. Dun dun dun! Uh, super mutants? Wait. Super mutants? What are they? Big, green, muscles on muscles. Hell yeah! In other words, <laughs> I think we can safely rule them out. Uh, what are the gunners? Who are the gunners? High end mercenaries. No job too brutal. They're in the running as likely suspects. They wouldn't be the ones pulling the strings. All right. Uh, raiders. You think raiders might have done this? <laughs> I honestly doubt it. They can barely organize themselves, let alone pull off something this complicated. So then that leaves the Institute then. So you think this Institute is responsible? Well, they're the boogeymen of the Commonwealth. So 
something goes wrong, everyone blames them. Easy to see why. Those early model synths of theirs strip whole towns for parts, killing everything in their way. Gasp! Then you got the newer models, good as human. Infiltrate cities and pull strings from the shadows. Worst of all, no one knows why they do it, what their plan is, or where they are. Not even me. And I'm a synth myself. A discarded prototype, anyway. Um... You're a prototype? Yeah. Well, all right, well, let's Either find way, Sean. I need to find Sean. Right. The speculation is getting us off track. Let's focus on what you saw. What did these kidnappers look like? Um. Uh, carried a gun. The man who killed my wife. He had a handgun. I didn't get a clear look at it. But that sound could have been a large caliber revolver. How the hell do you get that from that? <laughs> I'm starting to get a clearer picture of the kind of man our perp is. Anything more you can tell me? Uh, they had clothes on. <laughs> the woman was dressed in, um, I think it was a kind of hazard suit. The man had some sort of metal brace on his arm. Maybe some kind of improvised armor? A lot of hired guns do that to look tough. The hazard suit is interesting. Not many mercs can afford something that fancy. What else do you remember about them? Oh, uh, one of them had words coming out of his mouth. I'll never forget that voice. Low and rough. Like sandpaper across your face. Huh. Not much to go on, but a tough and commanding voice can get someone pretty far in the violence business. What else? Well... One of them had no hair and had a scar. One of them came right up to me. Bald head. Scar across his left eye. Wait. It couldn't be. You didn't hear the name Kellogg at all, did you? Um... I don't think so. No. They never said their names. Mm. Way too big of a coincidence. <clears throat> Ellie, what notes do we have about the Kellogg case? The description matches. Bald head, scar, reputation for dangerous mercenary work, but no one knows who his employer is. And he bought a house here in town, right? And he had a kid with him, didn't he? Yeah, that's right. The house in the abandoned wet stands. The boy with him was around 10 years old. I mean, I'm 200 years old, 210, uh, plus whatever age I was before I got into the vault in general, so I don't think it's Sean. Uh, another kidnapped kid, perhaps? Maybe it's another kidnapped kid. Yeah, either that or he's got a son of his own. Not a comforting thought in any case. Both of them vanished a while ago. Haven't been heard or seen since. Let's you and I take a walk over to Kellogg's last known address. Let's do this. If we can snoop out where he went. Security doesn't really go to that part of town, but you two should still be careful. I always am. We should get the uh, the case files that are around here first. This one's nothing but it's the mysterious stranger. This is actually really interesting in my opinion. Uh, just a it's a quick read, but nothing happens out of it. Uh, case: The mysterious stranger. Sightings of a man dubbed the mysterious stranger have been popping up sporadically across the old U.S. for years now. Best case: The man's an abnormal, uh, amoral lunatic. Worst case: A profile serial killer. Anyone knows, uh, all anyone knows, uh, is his ammo. Appearing suddenly, killing without remorse, disappearing without a word. The stranger, uh, has no known accomplices, no clear method for selecting his targets, no calling card left behind. Sightings range from the, uh, NCR all the way to the East Coast, stretching back decades. Now he's come to the Commonwealth. Last thing... Uh, this place needs is another psychopath running amok. Time to start pulling together the pieces to put this one away. Description. Male, a human male. Outfits vary, but most recent sightings describe a large overcoat and a fedora. Guy has taste, I'll give him that. One man, multiple men, uh, men a, f a ghoul with minimal scarring. Might explain the long passages of time in between sightings. Uh... Appears and disappears suddenly, suggesting pre-turn pre. 
I have no idea what that says. Infiltration. Abilities, access to uh, advanced cloaking tech. All but earliest descriptions suggest the stranger uses only conventional arms, making infiltration training more likely. Perps like this make me wish the Institute had sprung for thermal detection before giving me the boot. Sightings, locations. Commonwealth, confirmed. Capital Wasteland, confirmed. Old NCR, old rumors. Shady Sands, really old rumors. Those are the old Fallout games, by the way. I love reading that. And then there's... Yep. Bingo. Uh, so this is just a holotape game. Earl Sterling case file. This is just another case, so let's read this really quick. Uh, case, Earl Sterling's disappearance. Client, Vadim Bobrov. <laughs> He's the owner of the bar in town, by the way. Another disappearing act uh, to unravel. Uh, Earl Sterling, 25 years uh, year old bartender at the donut at the dugout at the donut, uh, one of the owners, Vadim Balbrov, uh, noticed that Earl hadn't been to work for a few days. Security was called in. No investigation, of course. The institute took him. Uh, is the unofficial word about town? Uh, about town, like always. Vadim came into my office half drunk with a sob story about how he and Earl went way back, and he, that he just can't believe that Earl would get snatched up by the boogeyman. My gut says he's right. Earl didn't have any enemies, at least none with motive enough to kill the guy. Not living with anyone either, so I'll have to see if a deem or someone else uh, at the dugout has his key. I'd rather not have to explain to security why I was picking the lock on Earl's door if I slip up and get caught in the act. Apparently Earl just up and disappeared one day. No one's seen him since. Okay, nice. Alright, let's let, wait for that to go away and then we'll read the Marty Bullfinch fi case file. Alright, let's go. The Marty Bullfinch case. Marty was Nick's partner. Emphasis on the was. He must have been some kind of expert to come to us for help after all this time. Alright, let's listen to that case file. What was it called again? The Marty Bullfinch holotape or something? Let's just go to M. Uh, yep, right there. Nikki, you old bucket of bolts, it's Marty. I know it's been a while, but I came across a little mystery I thought might get your circuits firing. You remember that ugly grasshopper statue on top of Faneuil Hall? Turns out it's got a note in it. A note written by the son of one, Shem Drown. I don't expect that name means anything. I was a coppersmith, way back when folks did shit like that. Apparently, this note leads straight to the old guy's stash. I don't know what's in it, but I'd sure like to know if it's still there. I'm gonna go do a little recon on the hall. If you decide you want to get the team back together, you let me know. Dun dun dun. The Gilded Grasshopper. So we're done. Let's go. I don't know why I took out my gun, but as you can see, I painted it the army colors. Why? Eh, it just felt like it, I suppose. I like the Minuteman one, but we haven't sided with the Minuteman. Like I said before, that's going to be you guys' decision. So I'm pretty excited to see what faction I'm going to be start uh, siding with. Because I'm going to let... I'm literally playing the game up until the de it's decision time. Really? He's Why? more than just a mercenary. He's a professional. Quick, clean, thorough. Has no enemies, because they're all dead. Gasp! Except you. Nine to one odds says he's our man. More than just you identifying his distinguishing features. The M.O. is all him as well. Leading a small team to kidnap a baby and leaving one of the parents alive for later? Not many mercs in the Commonwealth can pull that off. Damn. This Kellogg cereal box man seems like he's hardcore. What are we doing, Nikki? Here we are. Keep an eye out, will you? Don't worry. 
I'll keep this place lo on lockdown. Probably. Alright, let's go. Let's go ahead and get down. Master, I can't lock this. Hey, Valentine. So what do we do? Stubborn lock, ain't it? A little bit. No luck. Guess we'll need to find the key. See that platform in the distance? Oh yeah. The entrance. That's the elevator to the mayor's office. Why don't you go ask around there? I'll stay here and see if I can jimmy this lock. First of all, who's Jimmy? And why are you gonna use him to open up the lock? Hi, Nat. Later, Nat. Alright, let's just go up here. Found the platform. Time to go up. See you later, Piper. I don't know where you're at, but bye. Where the hell is she? Oh, damn, she's all over there running. <laughs> I wanna, there she goes. Look, watch. There she goes. She's going in there. There she goes. See you later, Piper. It's nice knowing you around here. Excuse me. The receiving visitors, as long as they aren't members of the press. Did you need help? Uh. House keys. I need to get into Kellogg's house. I need to talk to someone about Kellogg's old house in the West Stands. Mr. Kellogg's residence. He left town a while ago. We foreclosed on the property and locked it up. If there was something belonging to the man that you have a claim on, you could ask the mayor to hear you out. No guarantees. Um. It's urgent? I don't have time. I need that key now. Why is finding this key so important to you, honey? Um. I need to find my son? I hope Please. it works. All I want to do is find my son. The man who owned that house kidnapped him. Well, you do seem like a guy. All right. I'm just going to leave this key on my desk and forget I put it there. Your son's lucky he has a father like you. I hope you find him. Aw, oh, thank you, Geneva. I hope uh, you have a good day at your convention. But Geneva. first things first. Remember, you didn't get that key from me. Now, if you're actually interested in buying a house, we have a permit available. Actually, I am interested. Well, let's hear about the permit. We have one home available. It's in the center of town. 2,000 right caps. Want. You can do whatever you like with the interior, and all the tools you need to make your own furnishings are provided at no extra charge. Sounds like a deal. I'll take it. Here's the key. Let me be the first to welcome you as a resident of the Great Green Jewel. Thank you. And now I have a new house. I kind of want to check it out at some point. Maybe. Haha, <laughs> see you later, Piper. Oh, I hope she jumps off. No, jump off. Damn it. That would have been hilarious. Come on, baby. I kind of want to jump off. Toronimo! What the fuck? How'd you get over here, Piper? You are a magician, I swear. Don't worry about it, Diamond City security guard. Let's go. He literally lives isolated from the world, doesn't he? Hello. Will do, sir. And now we're inside the Kellogg cereal box house. How exciting! Oh no! What could we be looking for? I don't know. Oh no, look, there's a button here that I haven't seen or found before. Gasp! It's a secret room! I'm supposed to be finding something. What could I be finding? Maybe if I take this bullet, something will happen. Gwyneth Stout beer, 44 caliber bullets, and cigars. San Francisco Sunlights. Hmm, interesting brand. Won't lead us anywhere on its own, though. Um, perhaps we can use dog meat. I wonder if dog meat could pick up the scent. Say, that's not a bad idea. Some dogs out there in the Commonwealth can track a man for miles. 
Why don't you go fetch him and let him have a whip? See if he picks up the trail. Uh, before you head out, uh, I know this is personal business. You have to face Kellogg on your own. Just say so. Besides, you already have plenty of company. You can't all go sniffing through the Commonwealth after one man. Yeah, let's go. I want you with me on this, Nick. Sorry, Piper. You're going back to Covenant. All right. Well, let's get that bastard. This is your show from here on out, okay? You say jump, I'll say how high. Um, sure. Nuka-Cola Quantum. Definitely take those. I'll take all the ammo since it doesn't weigh anything. Get out of my way, Nicholas. Um, Nuka Cherry. I love Nuka Cola, man. I wish it was a real thing. Um, definitely take those stim packs. Eh, I guess that's it. Let's see if there's any more ammo cans or anything like that upstairs. Nah, it doesn't look like it. Let's go. I wonder what will be waiting for us or who will be waiting for us once we leave this building. It could be anyone or any animal. Dun dun dun. If it decides to load, of course. We all know it takes forever for this to load. Oh, wasn't too bad. Hey, dog meat. Long time no see, buddy. Dog meat. Get the scent, boy. Uh, got the scent? Got something, boy? Yay, we completed getting a clue. Alright, maybe I should put this gun away while we're still in the city limits. Nicholas, you better hurry your ass up. You old robot, you. Reunions. Family reunions. Shut up, resident. Hi, Piper. Bye, Piper. Yay. Let's go. Now we're finally leaving, and now we're hunting down the cereal box. Best part of waking up is cereal in your box. Wait, that's not how it goes. Nuka Cola, the most popular American soda before the war. Many, damn it. Automatic weapons uh, fire continuously as your trigger is spilled. Yep, that's the definition of an automatic weapon. Uh, they include, but are not limited to, the submachine gun and versions of the assault rifle and combat rifle. I mean, and laser weapons, of course. I have an automatic uh, laser rifle. Damn, that freaking refrigerator came out of nowhere. Or refrigerator, uh, Nuka Cola machine, excuse me. The best part of waking up is Nuka Cola cups. I literally never heal my companions. <laughs> Only because I can destroy everyone. Alright, now that we are out, let's follow dog meat. Come on, buddy. Let's go. Wait, is uh, Cricket out here? Sometimes she's out here. God, what am I stuck on? Let's go, dog meat. Run faster. Let's go. Is Nicholas even following us? Honestly, I have no idea where Nicholas is. Uh, we got our first checkpoint. I wonder what could be over here. Perhaps maybe we should take this cigar and find out what dog meat knows. San Francisco Sunlights. Kellogg's preferred brand, all right. Okay, boy. Let's track him. What? Well, let's go, dog meat. What are we doing? So right here is an enemy spawn point. Surprise nothing's here. And then right up here, there's one where... Mole rats always seem to spawn right where you see skeletons like a skeleton on the floor right there And now let's 
Oh god. Let's go. Die, please. Die, please. Look how sexy I look. You're dead. No, come back here. Where are you going? You're not going nowhere. Is that all of them? That's all of them. I absolutely demolished them. Let's go, Nicholas. You did absolutely nothing. I literally have you here for moral support because let's be real. Companions are not that good in this game. <laughs> I argue it's probably a little better to uh, to just go uh, go with dog meat. Like companions are cool and all. Don't get me wrong. And I prefer having companions only just to have like some support. <laughs> But in reality, they're not that good. You're doing 99% of the work. What am I doing? Oh yeah, right over here. Bloody bandages. Dog meat can track this. Let's go, dog meat. Okay. Off boy. to the next clue. Let's track him. Let me take all this stuff first. Go. What do we got going on, dog meat? Oh, we got pu poochies. Two. And... Where's the last one? Three. Nice. Dude, we are absolutely disgusting with this laser rifle. Maybe I should raise the difficulty. I think I'm gonna raise the difficulty. I'll wait till we get to our destination. Let's go. A bear, aka Yagwai, likes to spawn here, so there he is. I don't want to run. I want my 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 uh, action points back. No, no, leave me alone. Woo! That was close. I didn't want to get hit by that freaking Smokey the Bear dude. Oh look. That, what the fuck? I don't even know where it went. Alright, let's go. So, the laser weapons are not very good when it comes to... Uh, recoil. Is there somebody else? No, I guess they're dead. Let's go, dog meat. I think we're almost there, actually. So that's a good thing. What are you waiting for? Where are you going? Oh my god, dog meat. Let's go. I'm about to say, it's not up there, dude. It's supposed to be down here. Let's go. Come on, dog meat. Give me that beer. When it's down, collection or something. One of his creature comforts. All right, dog meat. I need you to hurry up. Yeah, you said that before, Nicholas. We got to stick together, pal. At least until we find Kellogg. Okay, boy. Let's track him. Good boy. There we go. Now we got him moving. I was scared that he was gonna be like bugged out for a second. I was like, "What is going on?" Turns out we're fine, though. Gwyneth Stout Beer, 44 caliber bullets. I gotta get used to not sprinting as much since I'm trying to do a, a that-centered bi uh, build. Let's go. Uh-oh. You, die. That's all you guys got? Alright, don't worry, dog meat. I got you. It ain't no thing but a chicken wing. I think this is our uh, second to last stop coming up right here. Because then we have one next to a fence. 
if I remember correctly, and then we're done after this one. Alright, let me loot this guy first. Stimpak, sure, why not? Right away, apps of freaking lootly. Alright, let's talk to this head. Attention System corrupt. I can't feel my legs. How can you feel your legs anyways? This thing's always been ridiculous, dude. Uh come on. Kellogg. Just tell me where Kellogg went, Tin Can. Identity of assailant. Kellogg. We're still on track. Okay, that was absolutely worthless. Um, let's go, dog meat. You gonna go or what? That freaking robot told me absolutely nothing. Looks like we got some red stacks here. Let's blow them up. <laughs> that was nice. Oh. Was it a legendary? It was. I mean, I don't like the troubleshooter's effect, though, so I'm good. Wait, dog me, where are you going? Um. Where is he? Alright, dog me, get back to work, buddy. Before you get me killed. I should do a quick save just in case. Uh, last thing I need is for this game to crash on me for some whatever reason. I mean, luckily Fallout 4 doesn't really crash very often. New Vegas is notorious for crashing though. Love that game so much, but it always crashes on me for some reason. And let's not talk about Fallout 76, because that game, as much as I enjoy that game, it's it still has a lot of problems. Let's go. What do you think, boy? Was this our man? I didn't know we had a man. Alright, what are we doing? Let's go, dog meat. Come on, buddy. We're almost there. We're almost there. We're li literally in our final tiny little stretch of the game. Damn it, they saw us. Let's go. Nice. Oh, snap. There's another one. Got him. Anybody else coming? Unfortunately. Hell yeah. Oh, dog meat already took off. He gave two fucks about the freaking bugs. Let's go, buddy. We're here. Whoop, whoop. Maybe I should shoot that thing. Alright, what are we doing, doggy, doggy meaty? I was about to say, is Nicholas following me? I didn't hear his footsteps for a second. Is this the place? Is he in here, boy? I knew dog meat would sniff our man out. Let's you and I take it from here. Give our four-legged friend a break. Yes, sir. Hold on. Okay, never mind. Let's go. Let's go! I... I think the entrance is over here. I don't really remember. I vaguely remember. It's been a while since I went through this mission. Um, This way, maybe? Yeah, right here, I believe. No, wait, that's not it. Oh, right here. This is the entrance. Let's go. Fort Hagen. I almost, I almost forgot how to get in here. Your ass is mine, Kellogg. Come here, Frosted Flakes. I'm coming for you. Whenever it loads, that is. <laughs> Maybe. The end of this mission, by the way, is one of my favorite parts in the whole game. The introduction of of a certain group. Let's see if we can actually get help. 
Come on, Nicholas. Uh, I'm only gonna try this a handful of times because I really hate doing this, to be honest. Uh, Deems. Harleem. Seize. Well, got it. Activate unit. Woo! Yes, protect me, Protectron. <laughs> nope. You're on drugs, Synth. Oh, hello. Goodbye. Can I shoot this? No. Alright, let's just disarm it. I just want to check what's in this box. Let's go. That's it. Nothing I care for. Wait, I'm going to need one of these, aren't I? Hey, what the hell? Leave me alone. What are you doing? Be nice to me, Synth Patroller. Oh, God. Oh, God. Come on, you're supposed to protect me, robot. That's why I activated you. Oh, there's another robot. Oh, for some reason I thought he was an enemy. Let's go. Anybody else want some? I didn't think so. You might want to get out of my way, robot, before I accident accidentally destroy you. Wait, what did he have? Oh, it's a laser rifle. Oh my god, there was a... Wait, do I have... Oh, I do have sneak all the way up, don't I? Wait. See you later, buddy. You ain't got nothing on me, just like King Kong. Military ammo bag. I need a bunch of those in Fallout 76 for ballistic fiber. See you later, leader. Oh, God. Come on. Give me another one. Nice. So much for your leader. Ah! Came out of nowhere. Is that it? Alright. I mean, really all I need is one. There we go. Alright, what does this guy have? Eh, nothing important. Eh, nothing important. Let's go. And eh, we're good there. Actually, I should hack this. What level is this? No can't break the code. All right, I can't. So let's go ahead and forget it. Because the only reason I wanted to do it is so that I could get some, you know, reputation points with Nicholas over here. Come on, Nicholas. Goodbye, Nicholas. Maybe I should take a stim pack, huh? Let's just max out while we got an opportunity. And this leads to the entrance. Wait. Goodbye. Oh, come on. Oh, God. All right, we're good. Come on, Nicholas. Let's take down this guy right here. Come on. Damn it. Come on, peek. Lights out for you. Oh my god. That's it. I'm done with you. Is there another one over here? I'm not entirely sure. But let's take him out anyways. The best part of waking up. 
Is murder in your cup? What the hell? Hello. Give me back my crits, damn it. That's nice. I love murder. By the way, don't murder. <laughs> And is if it isn't my old cereal box. Okay then. If you say so. It is so easy to get ammo in this game, I swear. Oh god, what am I doing? Let's go. Nice. Look at all this ammo I just keep getting. Pulse grenades. These are good against rope. God, I got stuck. Uh. Okay, whatever. I don't care. Let's go. I'm not here for junk. I'm here for the freaking cereal box is about to get absolutely obliterated. Military grade circuit board. Don't mind if I do. I think I just need. What else do I need? Shut up, Kellogg. Maybe you should order a roommate. Just to piss you off. Kellogg. I know my combat my comebacks are on point, huh? O M G. We're literally at the final stages, I believe, of this mission. We're gonna absolutely devour the cucumber that is Kellogg. Military grade circuit board. Oh, I need a biometric scanner. Never expected you to come back on my door. Gave you 50 50 odds of making it to Diamond City. After that, figured the Commonwealth would chew you up like jerky. Oh, well, you're wrong. It makes me happy that you were wrong. Enemy, maybe you will How interesting. Come on. Alright. Screw it. You're done, bro. Alright, fuck it. Let's kill homeboy before we move on to the next guy. Oh, you're dead. I was wrong. Oh god, come on baby, let's do this. I should've used a crit. Dunkies. Nice. I'll be taking that. Thank you very much. And that, and these two, and actually that's it. Wait. Oh, okay, that's downstairs. Look, you're pissed off. I get it. I do. Do you? But whatever you hope to accomplish in here, <laughs> it's not gonna go your way. Ooh, military fatigues. I'll take that. Sure, why not? Although I was in the army, so I prefer the army fatigues. Plus, they look nicer. I never liked the military fatigues. They've always looked weird. I don't know why. You. Explode. I love it when they do what I tell them to do. Biometric scanner. There we go. Now I can complete the game. There's nothing in here, huh? Shut up, synth. Come on. Damn, that one was pretty hardcore. Oh god. Let's go with the head crit. Dope. I'm like absolutely destroying these guys, dude. They don't even stand a chance. Kellogg, handle my lightweight. Yeah? You don't say. Let's go. So much for hitting me there, buddy. Let's take that stuff. Then let's just off this guy straight up. And that didn't KO him straight up. Maybe I should take one more stim pack, huh? Makeshift battery. No, thank you. Ooh, ammo. 
Look at all this ammo, man. It's so easy to get ammo in this game, I swear. 5.56, five, 38. 38 is what you always end up getting like 900 million of. It's always like in an abundance. Anything interesting over here? Stim packs, absolutely. Radaways, absolutely. Whoops, got stuck. Alright, let's go this way. There's a little something I want right here. Energy weapons, bobblehead. Uh, arrive at a peaceful resolution by using superior firepower. Permanently gain plus 25% critical damage with energy weapons. That is eh, definitely up my alley. Explosives. I don't know if I want explosives, to be honest, but... Oh! I got 50 bobby bins. Uh, bobby pins. That's crazy. I don't even remember picking them up. Alright, uh, I'll just take that. But this activates a little trap where they just come and try to ambush you. No, wait. You? Let's go. Oh, come on. There we go. I wanted to use it on both of them, but for some reason the second crit didn't work. All right, so I need to come down here because in here there's a secret key and a Nuka Cola Quantum, my favorite Nuka Cola. Woohoo! And I don't want the junk. Not right now, at least. Last thing I need is to be over encumbered. I do have guts. They're inside my stomach. You are in over your head in ways you can't possibly comprehend. You don't say. Movement detected. Curious. Run, Kellogg! I mean, uh, Nikki. <laughs> oh, that was amazing. You fell for for it, dude. You are a joke. Um. Well, this has fifty-six percent. So let's go with this. Okay. That's not good. Give me another crit. Aw, oh, man. See, you didn't use it that time. Alright, I'm gonna worry about you after. For now, I'm just gonna take this dude out. Good. Oh, he is smart. I take it back. He's an idiot. <laughs> That was fucking funny, dude. All right, let's go. You have nothing of interest for me. Both of these guys fell for the dumbest things ever. Stimpak, don't mind if I do. It's not too late. Yes, it is. <coughs> oh god! Stop shooting at me, mother effer. That's the password that we got from that tool chest. So let's go ahead and open this. We're still gonna have to hack, I mean, a uh, pick lock or lock pick, I mean. It's all good though. Come on. Damn it, I need some rataways, don't I? All right, we're good here. I just wanna open this to see if there's anything interesting that I could use. I don't remember what's in here. I know there's a lot of ammo and stuff. I think there's a fat man, but I don't want to use a fat man, to be honest. Automatic laser pistol, fat man, fusion cells. I mean, I guess I could take it, use it, and call it a day, right? Hold on, what's in here? Some meds, novice, uh, sure, why not? Alright, yeah, I figured that was going to be... A no-go. Yes. Hell yeah, at least I got some more rataways. Anything else? Nothing of interest? No dead mistress of mystery? Wrong fallout game. Let's go. I want some more crits. There we go. Is that all of them? I think it is. I don't remember. Is there something over here? 
Uh, I guess not. Let's go. Well, then open the yes. damn door. Let's talk. Will do. Let's go ahead and take a nap. And you know what else I'm going to do? Let's put this right there. I do have that favorited. So all I got to do is push right. Good. All right, let's quick save right here. Uh, where's Sean? Where is my son? Where is Sean? <laughs> Pal, I'm just a puppet like you. My stage is a little bigger, that's all. Sean's a good kid. A bit older than you expected, am I right? But he's doing great. Only, he's not here. He's with the people pulling the strings. <laughs> yeah, I think I gotta go. Yeah. Fuck you, <laughs> Your time's done. Your son is exactly where he belongs. That's awesome. He's home. In the Institute. Um. How do I get there? So, where is it? Huh? This Institute. How do I get there? <laughs> Haven't you been paying attention? You don't find the Institute. The Institute finds you. You open the closet, it's just a closet. You can never find the monster that hides inside. Not until it jumps out at you. But I think we've been talking long enough. We both know how this has to end. Yep. So, you ready? Uh, I'm you ready. You know I am, Kellogg. See you later. Oh, I missed. I should have batted his ass. Did I kill him? Where is he? Fuck you, Kellogg. Come on, I need a. I want him to disappear. I mean, to, there we go. Wait, is he dead? Oh, he threw a freaking grenade at me. Oh, I ran out of... Uh... Wait, what am I doing? Also, I need... Meds. Maybe I should invest... In medic. Oh, he threw a freaking grenade at me again. Oh, this guy's gonna be hardcore. Come on. Where is he? I need him to reappear. There he goes. So I can use some crits on his ass. Come on, baby. Give me another crit. Dead. See you later, Kellogg. I'll be taking all of this, refills your... This is actually a really good gun for my build. Um, I'll take all of his unique stuff. All right, let's go. Now we gotta take, well, well first of all. Excellent. Nice. Stim pack, definitely need that. All right, let's go ahead and do this. Uh, view access logs. Uh, no. The boy, Sean, successfully delivered back to the Institute. Payment received. New orders to track down, uh, Renegade. Gathered reinforcements. Cleared out and secured Fort Hagen. We move out soon. Well, that's it. Nice. Uh, maximum security. Too easy. Open doors. Tracking. What's Nick. up, Nicholas? So, Kellogg wasn't giving us any bull. Your son really is on the inside. Even I don't know where the Institute is. And they built me. Um, 
I need to find a way, man. There has to be a way, Nick. We're in the weeds here. Time to take a step back. Bring in some fresh eyes. Only person I know willing to snoop up the Institute's tail feathers is Piper, the reporter in Diamond City. I say we head her way. Talk this through. Well, let's go do it then. Diamond City it is. Hey, chin up. I know the night just got darker, but it won't last forever. Agreed. Well, first things first. Now that I use this, I don't need that anymore. Nor do I want it. So let's go ahead and get going. This is one of my favorite parts of the entire game, dude. I'm not even going to lie. Just because it looks freaking amazing. Going up. Yes, we are. Nicholas, you just scared the hell out of me, dude. You just literally came out of nowhere, bro. Is that synth technology? Disappearing and reappearing like that? I mean, I guess... I guess kind of it is, huh? <laughs> Alright, stop staring at me, Nicholas. Creeping me out. The best part of waking up is Nicholas in your bed. Wait, what? OMG, this is definitely masking a loading screen. But the loading is so ridiculous right now, dude. It's not even funny. There we go. Let's go. Well, first of all, turret control. Deactivate. And open door. Whoops. This is my favorite part of the game. Look at that, dude. It looks so beautiful, dude. OMG. Do not Our drink your beer. Are peaceful. Liar. We are the, the Brotherhood of Fear. Of steel. That was close. That looks so badass. Anything to say, Nicholas? Nope. Alright. So we got Frequency 95. I like to run over here and discover this place real quick. I don't know why I just do. So let's discover this. It's making me go over here. Alright. So listen to Frequency 95. Let's listen to this really quick. Any minute now. It didn't even say anything. What a shame. Whoops. Alright. Well... I think we're going to leave it here right now. In the next video, you're probably going to see me spawn in to like the castle or even Covenant. Because I'm not going to wait around right here in the next video. So, there's that. Uh, this mission was actually really fun, dude. Taking out, finally, uh, Kellogg is one of the most satisfying parts of this game, in my opinion. Just because he's such an asshole. He killed my wife. He kidnapped my child. You know what I mean? Although he wasn't the one pulling the strings. He was the one that carried it out. So... Taking him out is literally very, very satisfying in my opinion. But then again, I'm just a family man. So, there's that. If you enjoyed this video though, do me a huge, huge favor. Drop a like on this video. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed. Because it really does help this channel grow. So, with that being said, definitely catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.